Hey folks, Todd Martin here. Uh, just want to let you know, just getting ready to go up in the Remax balloon. As you can see behind me, it's uh, being inflated and uh, actually going to have some great shots and going to show you why Remax is above the crowd. If you'd like to buy any of these houses you see, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Too. Uh huh. Oh, somebody out there. Like their dog and chicken. Now there's some horses over here. Take them out. Look at them down here. Oh, look at the gosling. They're the little ones. safely on the ground. <laughs> hey everybody, Todd here. As you can see, I finally have my feet on the ground. So I gotta tell you, it was a pretty exhilarating time on that balloon ride, just kind of looking out over the horizon and seeing everything. And it just makes you realize how small you are in comparison to the world and what the world has to offer. So I'm glad you stopped by this month uh, to check out this blog and I hope everybody picked a winner. And I wanna talk to some, I wanna talk to you about something that's really not much of a gamble, just like the horse race. Now I can tell you this year, I did something I've never done before, and I picked the winner for the Oaks and the winner for the Derby, and I thought I was gonna get a huge payout for my $8. Well, it only paid $5.70, so I ended up losing money. But the good thing is, is the market's starting to recover, and this month I wanna to talk to you about the seven financial benefits of home ownership. Now, when we talk about financial benefits to home ownership, really, it can be seen throughout the year, but it's most prevalent in a tax time. And let me explain what I've got here for you. So the first and foremost is home ownership builds wealth over time. We've always heard the term slow and steady wins the race. Well, as you own a home, that home will gain in value, allowing you to borrow against it, to have credit against it. And also, when you go to sell the property, you'll have equity in the home that you can take out and upgrade. So again, home ownership builds wealth over time. Uh, you build equity every month, like I just said before. You build equity every month, so you're paying down the principal, and that principal payment over a period of time will disappear to where, guess what? You may own your home free and clear if you stay in it long enough. So it's a nice, it's a nice little cash cow to have. Um, now, one of the things is, uh, due to the, the new qualified mortgage rules, um, the way that mortgage works is that the principal portion of your payment increases slightly every month, year after year, and then it's lower on your first payment and larger on your last payment, and then thus, as the months and the years go by, your equity grows into that property. Now, you also reap tax benefits, and the tax code actually allows homeowners to deduct uh, 
the mortgage interest from their tax obligations, some closing costs, so if you purchase, um, you can deduct those costs in that tax year, and then property tax is also deductible, so you can take that back and hopefully put some more money in your pocket. Now, here's one of my favorite, and that's tax, deduct tax deductions on home equity lines. So let's say you decided that you want to add an addition to the house or you want to go on a nice vacation. Well, instead of putting that on a high bearing interest rate account on a credit card, you can actually borrow against your home if you have the equity in it and you can take a tax write off, say for that trip to Disneyland or for that once in a lifetime vacation overseas and you'll have much smaller payments. So think about that. Again, that's something that you can borrow against and actually take a deduction versus an interest rate, uh, excuse me, a higher interest rate on a credit card that really just leaves you throwing money out the window. Now, you do get a capital gains exclusion. What I mean by that is if you live in it for your primary residence for at least two years, you don't have to pay capital gains. That's different than somebody that buys a house, lives in it for three, four months, fixes it up and turns around and sells it for a higher price they've got to pay capital gains. In other words, they have to pay taxes on the money that they made. So if they made twenty, thirty thousand dollars on a house, they've got to pay taxes on that. Whereas if you've lived in it for two years as a primary residence, you don't have to do that. That's money in your pocket. Um, a mortgage is like a forced savings plan. Again, kind of going back to the home equity line and paying down your mortgage, it forces you to put money in each and every month. Therefore, kind of your own personal bank. And as over a period of time, again, slow and steady wins the race, uh, you'll definitely find that you'll have more money that you'll be able to draw from. And then long-term buying is cheaper than renting. It may seem a little bit expensive at first, but again, as you continue over a period of time, what will happen is that principal actually pays itself down and your mortgage over a period of time could become less and less and less. And so there's tips and tricks in there as well. And again, as always, you must look at your own personal and financial goals before making the big decision to buy. So if you happen to need somebody, don't feel afraid to pick up the phone and give me a call. You can always reach me at 220-4663. And as always, if you happen to know somebody that's looking to buy, sell, and invest, please don't keep me a secret. I'm here to help. Have a great day, and I'll talk with you soon.